dude. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, we already got the pigeon spread set up. Come on, Fred, let's go, dude. We just came moseying and tumbling out of there. We're parking the truck, and we're walking into the field. Boy, it feels like forever since I set up an A-frame blind and some full-body decoys and some silhouette decoys. That's right, we got the entire pigeon spread set up. Sorry for the wind. This is a very odd little pigeon hunt. For one thing, we're using 20 gauges. Come on, Fred. And for another thing, it's 11.30 a.m. We're starting the hunt right now. This is the feeding time for the pigeons for the last probably month is a uh, few of them bust out to feed early, 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 you know, during sunrise. But then the rest of them, up two behind us, the rest of them come after 11 a.m. to about 3 p.m. ish. But not very many have been here, only probably 100, 150 at most. So Jordan was like, Bob, let's do a, a little two man with 20 gauges. So I'm like, dude, that's a perfect idea. Fred. Dude, you are ready. He's so happy. He's extra, extra, extra calm. Uh, a lot of you that have been here all through waterfowl season, this is Fred's home. This is his corner, left side of the blind. This is your spot, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And look, I didn't leave you out. I brought your stuff, dude. Yeah, just for you. But check it out. I got the Mossberg 20 gauge pump in action. And luckily, check it out. I don't know what it's going to do to the angle of the dangle on the footage, but I was able to mount the shot cam way back here. This tube's a little bigger than the actual barrel. So it won't be identical. It won't be like perfect, you know, from it being right here, the view of it, but I think it's going to work. Well, never mind. New idea, Frederick. We moved it to the barrel. It's on there. I, I need the 20 gauge adapter. I'm going to run it for a couple shots. If it moves, I'm going to have to move it back down here again. Woo! It's cold out here. I didn't want to have to take off the hoodie, but I have to show you guys the new Ducks t-shirt of the month. Check that bad boy out. Okay, that's not a pigeon. That's a dove. Thank goodness. <laughs> The Ducks t-shirt of the month is only $14.99 a month. You get a dope one-off design in your mailbox the same time every month, $14.99. That's all she costs, guys. And all of the designs for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, they're all custom, so you cannot just go on the website and purchase them as you want. The Ducks t-shirt of the month subscribers are the only ones that get these shirts. If you want to subscribe, I will link it down in the description below. Fred, let's go check out this decoy spread. The decoy spread looks extremely juicy i'm not gonna lie uh i have what do i have six or seven dozen full bodies and then i have five dozen dive bomb pigeon silhouette decoys and we got one two three four mojos out but check it out this is the spread like i said we got the silhouettes and we got the full bodies mixed them all in here and it's beautiful this is where they wanted to be just right down in this little valley right here it feels good to be out here putting up the a-frame jordan and i i was like i looked at him i go how good does it feel to put up an a-frame it feels like it's been forever it has been forever it has been forever just, dude i mean the withdrawal is hopefully gonna be scratched a little bit today <laughs> right it's, it's been real though right now 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 i promised y'all that we would be doing the benelli with the new choke pigeon hunt believe me we tried to find a decent feed and this was the only pigeon feed we can find. It's just not big enough. We don't want to go in there with our 12 gauge Benelli's and go in there and just murk everything. You know what I mean? So I figured, you know what? It's been a long time since I've picked up the 20 gauge. It's actually been since that water goose hunt. So it's time y'all. Come on, Frederick, come on. Heel, right here. Good boy, look, he's happy to be back. I know you are, buddy. But I know, if you guys still want to see the Benelli pigeon hunt, and I know you do, Drop a comment down below and let me know. Um, I really want to do it. I really want to get whipping that bad girl around, spraying and praying, doing our thing. Get ready, get ready. Here we go, here we go. If they turn back, ready, go. Oh, coming back, right behind. Oh, 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 oh. Which one do we try? Let this one right here. Nice shot! There goes Frederick. Wow. Yeah! Look at that group. Is that part of the group? He's a white one. Good, Fred. Here. Let's go. Fred. That dog That's wants to work. One. Here. Oh, we shot two. Here. Dead bird. Dead bird. Here. Here. Dead bird. Dead bird. There we go. 
first one's down. There you are. Oh, blue check action. Blue check action with the 20 gauges. We're on the board. One in there, Fred. There's still one down. Second bird. Good boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here, my bird. There we are. No band on the pigeon. Two down. There we go. If y'all are liking the video, if y'all are glad that we're back out here doing some pigeon hunting with the 20 gauges, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button, baby. That is a good dog right there. That's a good boy. It's been, I don't know, what the last snow goose hunt. It's been, man, it's been like two months, a month and a half at, at minimum, that Fred has been in the blind retrieving and look how steady he is. He's ready to go. Oh, you're a little tired, huh? Not enough action for you, Fred? We know. We know. He's that BA. We know. Fred, though, he's an awesome dog. Y'all love Fred just as much as I do. I know y'all do. If you keep this up, you'll be getting a bunch of treats in the blind today, buddy. You got your lube, huh? Yeah. She just was not acting right. A little sticky, huh? A little bit. Hopefully that fixes it, though. Yep. If y'all haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, his channel is Jordan's Harvest. I will link it down in the description below. Go check him out. He's growing very, very fast. His channel is performing huh, a lot better than we expected at the get-go. I mean, honestly. I'm way happy with it. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's amazing. That's what happens when you do your job, when you chase something you love, when you give it your 110%. I always tell you guys. Oh, boys, that's a real good group. Oh, they're going to do it, Jordan. They're going to do it. All right. Get keyed up. Look hey. at them square up. Yeah, yeah. Here they go. Here we go. Here we go. Go make more pass. Get squared up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, don't square up there. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Get back here. Oh, come on. We got going. Oh, no. They didn't decoy very well. Jordan just made it made a good uh, point. It's been two months, and not only that, but the last birds, you know, abundance of birds that Fred has actually retrieved are snow geese. So it's a big bird. It's very, very bright white in the field. Most of the fields we've hunted are not tall stalks like this, and these are small, small pigeons. So you are doing pretty darn good, man. You gotta, you gotta really think about it and give your dog some good old loving and know that he's putting in some effort. Look how calm he is now. Look at him. It's that age he's getting now. He's getting out of that puppy stage. He's, he is a calm boy until he starts jetting out of this blind after a dead bird. He ain't so calm no more. Man, that'd be a, that'd be an awesome addition to our catch clean cook. Mm -hmm. It's good. This is actually a hunt clean cook. More or less, yeah. Yeah. Y'all have been wanting me to do a pigeon hunt with a catch clean cook. Believe me, we're going to do it at the end of the video. This sun's trying to pop out. I think when it pops out, it's going to help. I they're going to make a big difference. I think they're going to want to fly. So we got four birds on the ground. Check them out. Three blue bar and one check. And old Freddy, he's sitting here just looking at me asking me begging me for a pretzel we know dude you've done pretty good you deserve it man oh man he's like oh it's been a while dad thanks man but i know you all are curious especially with the 20 gauges what jordan and i are sporting so i got a uh, 26 inch barreled mossberg 500 uh 20 gauge old pump action girl good looking Again, got the old shot cam on there. And today I am shooting, this is my only box of heavy loads. This is a one ounce uh, 20 gauge Federal seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch lead shells, baby. What are you rocking over there as far as a gun and everything? Well, show wise, I have pretty much the exact same thing, but seven eighths instead of one ounce load. Yep. But you know, I'll get by. But this is my beat to crap youth model remington 1100 20 gauge remington 1100 i've never shot one a lot of people like them though it they're they're fun between they're just... the the remington and mossberg which do you think people like more how many good question between remington the 1100 series and the mossberg 500 series which do you think people have more of stogers stogers <laughs> drop a comment down below let us know what do you guys have 
What's your tw go to 20 gauge? They are on the left. Good group, dude. But, oh, they're gonna do it. Get ready, Jordan. They're gonna do it. Uh, they're gonna square up. Nice. Ready? Those low two. Draw up on them. Shoot them. No, yeah, I dropped one down there. Nice. We got three down. Yeah. Good shooting, dude. I'll take it. Here, Fred. Here, dead bird. Are they coming? Over the middle of the field. I mean, it's probably the same group. Well, Fred brought back one bird. Here they come. They're coming. Oh, yeah. We'll have to take a poke at them. I'll stay sat down if they stay over here. One, two, three. Did yeah, you they're, shoot? They were right above you. I, didn't I said I was going to stay sitting down, son. Right, oh, get him, get him. Miss and a miss. I can shoot straight <laughs> up, but I, was, I didn't want to blow your ears Oh, out, no, so. it's a 20 gauge. I told you I was going to stay sitting down, son. I know. Here. Oh, we got birds coming. We're trying to find this. Oh, yeah, that is a big flock. Fred, here. Let's go. Here we White go. Bites. They're like, what the crap is that in the decoys? Oh. Nothing. Woo. Only one. Right here. He was too close to kill. Sorry. Yep. Oh, right here. This the single. Yep. Shoot him. Oh, I missed. <laughs> <Come back. laughs> that was horrible. That was horrendous. Fred was busy trying to find these birds. Here, Fred, here. Good. Set. Fred. They're hard to find in this tall stubble. Get ready, get ready. Set. Take the left side. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, oh, good. Did you get yours? Yeah, I did not get mine, and I have no idea why. You missed. I know, but <laughs> I, I shouldn't have missed. Dead bird. They're tricking him. They're he's still... having he's having an issue finding them. Dead bird. Good. Good boy. Good boy, Fred. Here. Get lucky every once in a while. Come on, Fred. That's a good boy. Sit down. What you got there? Let me see it. My bird. No band on him either. Stacking him up though. Not going too bad. Feral pigeons. If uh, y'all don't know, uh, there is no season on feral pigeons. Feral pigeons are an invasive species. These pigeons, in fact, are coming from our city out to feed. So these pigeons are a huge nuisance to a lot of our local business owners. They have to spend a ton of money on pigeon deterrence, on pigeon cleaning, a bunch of stuff. It's nasty. And with all this disease stuff we already got going on, it's not a bad deal to get out here and hunt them as much as you can. So, pigeons are gross. They're not a clean animal. They can carry anything. Yep, I got that on shot cam. Here, Fred. That one did it. He came in hot and heavy. There he is. Good find, buddy. Here, here, heal. Heal. Set. Good, my bird. That's what we've been looking for right there. That was my long shot earlier. Pigeon hunt's kind of picking up a little bit here and there. Not going too bad. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Fred, you're messing up our decoys pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Yeah, you're really knocking them over, bud. Come on, man. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? You're just plowing everything over. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna float on this left side again. There's a red one. Okay. Come on. It's probably the same group that did that to us earlier, man. Frederick, you've been sniffing my jerky. You want some? That's a good dog. 
Oh, we got it. Oh, they like it. We got three birds? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on now. They may not like it as much as you think. Quit hoaxing us. Quit jinxing us, boy. They're doing it. Are they? Over there. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> boy, howdy. It's been every bit of an hour since we've seen a pigeon. Here's a group of four, almost ten, nine or ten birds. Let's see if they like it. Probably not. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We, oh, oh, oh. A single. If he gives it up, we'll crush him. Ready? Your side. Plow him. Nice shot. Nice shot. I was like, I'm just going to back <laughs> you up. Here, Fred, here. Good boy. At that range with a modified, it's a lot easier. Yeah. Thing. Here, buddy. Set. My bird. No bands. Another one. What's that? 11? 11. 11 birds down. Wow. The one out of the 10 pack just gave it up. Go. Another group. Another 10 pack. Oh, and a big group behind them, dude. That's, There's a big group, that's dude. That's a lot. Sit, Fred. Sit, Fred. Draw up and get ready if they give it up. Oh, boy, look at that. They're loving this left side. They gone. I wonder what they don't like. Something. It. I don't get it. Probably the safe frame sticking out here. <laughs> that might have something to do with it. We never have issues with it, though. No. They're pigeons. They're, they're... Take left side. Go. Oh, oh. Oh, nice shot. Oh. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. There we go. <laughs> there go. Good Maybe. boy, Fred. Good boy here. Come on. You guys like Good that. set. Hit the thumbs up button. But, uh, Good boy. Dead bird, dead bird, dead bird. Like big group coming? Big, big group coming. Oh, goodness. But, uh, Fred, here, 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 here. Here, here, here. Come on, buddy. Two squared up. Yep, yep, yep. Look at the ones behind him here. Oh, we'll let him go. That was the last time go. we let him pass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have let him go. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, come on. Spray over the top. Yep. Boy, they're a bitch. Holy cow. <laughs> Dude, I smoked him right here. <laughs> Good boy, Fred, here. And I Fred, here. I didn't get him at all. Fred, here. Good. My bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. We're just going to have to take what we can get. Yeah, get we just got to take what we can get. I'm oh, glad we shot there. Way to take him. Woo! <laughs> there we go. We're getting into him. We about packed up. Getting uh, it was getting slow for a long, long, long time. Well, we are back home, and uh, I'm mixing it up a little bit from what I originally recorded for y'all. Uh, Jordan and I actually came back to the house and we did a massive, ooh, it's windy. We better stay in here. We did a massive catch clean cook of pigeons. Um, <laughs> not only that, but as you can tell, the hunt, it's starting to really, really heat up. Uh, the birds start coming, we really start getting into them. And then we come back and like I said, we grill a ton of pigeon for supper, for dinner, for the entire family. So. There's a ton of footage left. There's actually so much that this video was gonna end up being like over 30 minutes long. And I'm like, let's just split it up into two episodes. This one will go up today. And then the rest of the hunt, which there's a still a ton of hunting left on this video. That'll go up tomorrow with the catch clean cook portion of the video. So I think you guys are gonna like it a lot better. Uh, I've wanted to start doing episodes, so let me know if you like it down in the comment section below. But I want to wish everybody a very, very happy Easter today. Oh, Frederick's having a great little Easter, aren't you, bud? Yeah? Uh-huh. But you guys got to come back tomorrow and watch the second episode. It is awesome. Let me tell you what. We get into, the t into these pigeons with these 20 gauges. Uh, I had a lot of fun, so... Be sure to subscribe, hit that little notification bell down there, and you guys gotta let a brother know 
what all content you guys want to see. What videos do you want me to do? I know you guys want me to do the coyote hunt out back but what else do you want to see? I appreciate you all being here. I hope you guys have an amazing Easter Sunday, but until next time. Peace. Oh, sad dog. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.